Yo, what is going on everyone? We're back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're checking out the Ink MK38. This is an M181 edition truck dubbed the Puma. This has got a lot of criticism for having the sideboard bed not removed, although I believe it's a unified model and that's kind of the reason why it wasn't removed. This has a crawler suspension, quasi tires, dually doubles. I'm super excited. Look at this paint job. It just looks amazing. Let's jump into it guys. Make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the support and the growth over the last couple of months. Yo, what is going on everyone? We're back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're checking out the Ank MK38 Puma M181 edition. This mod has got mixed reviews and I'm, I'm really puzzled so I thought, you know, what better way to test it than put it in Truck Night in America. So we're gonna purchase it and customize it together right now. Um, I really think the reviews don't paint the picture the way that they should. So we're going to take the Westline V16M2450. We're going to sell this just to see what it was. Um, we're going to take the Crawler Box HD. We're going to take the Rock Crawler Suspension. They're active or tuned. Take the Rock Crawler. Let's grab some tires. Oh, you'll love to see it. We're going to take the studded mud dualies by Quasi. Have to. And we're going to take the Tonda Winch HD Plus spare wheel, snorkel, tall front facing. Yeah, we'll take tall front facing. Frame add on. So it, it does have the um, sideboard bed, basically. And this is where a lot of the bad feedback came from. But it really, really kind of confused me. Because you can't actually control um, what you can do. Like, you can see we got the flatbed underneath it. But without this sideboard bed, um, a lot of work would have to go into the actual model, like changing the model, because it's all unified, from my understanding. And, Max Mike, you can comment and let me know about this. But um, I don't know why people would be bothered that there's no sideboard bed. That really kind of threw me for a loop. Yeah, I think it completes the truck. It's great for hauling some cargo, so to speak, but it's also, it, it doesn't look bad or anything, you know? So it's, I, I think it makes it look the way that it's supposed to look, if anything. I think that's a huge plus, in my opinion. But everyone's got their own take, and that's cool. I respect that. I respect that everyone's got their own tank. Tank? No, not tank, but take. Um, I just really am puzzled as to why people would complain about that. Let's fast forward it into the afternoon here. And we're about to get started, guys. Alrighty, let's get into it. You know, one of the biggest things I noticed with this truck right away is the engine sounds. They just sound amazing. And to be honest, any of the Ank mods I haven't really enjoyed at all. I haven't bothered with them. I, it just hasn't been done right until this M181 edition. And now I know why it's called the Puma. When you think about carrying cargo, there's some pretty pretty difficult places to navigate and you might have to make a couple extra trips but having the sideboard bed and flat bed built in that just makes sense you can carry it through stuff like this without having to worry about it you know rolling off the one thing that i will note with the suspension is it is pretty top-sided and when i say that i mean it can roll and flip pretty easy Oh, we didn't have the all-wheel drive on until now. Well, that makes sense. A little tiny bit damaged. We can take a look at that. And we're just kind of cruising in automatic here. Nice 
really got to be careful that you're not setting yourself up to tip over. Because it can happen pretty fast. So I haven't had to put it in a low or a low plus yet.
rocks pretty fast. I'm actually grateful and lucky that it didn't cause any damage.
just look at this truck. Look how incredible this truck looks. To me, this is a fine piece of art. This is mastered, in my opinion, if anything. Now we're starting to head into some rocks. Mud and rocks, actually. I'm, I'm amazed every day at the mods that Max Mike keeps putting out. These M1 8 editions. They are just incredible. I'm kind of feathering the gas here. Because we are in automatic still. And that's no problem. spot for this truck and that's okay. Taking damage that's to be expected in this kind of rocky situation. The long wheel days of what we got. And if I the problem is if I go too slow into it, I don't have enough momentum to get up the rocks. So to speak. I think that's the last bad one. Wall here. Oh, bottom out. Yeah. No, we made it. Right. or brakes it. The lift, the tires, the engine sounds, those improvements make such a massive difference. Both links are going to be in the description. Check out this Puma now. I'm telling you, you're not going to regret it. it. Don't let the reviews or the thumbs down or the down vote scare you. This is an excellent mod, another M181 truck, and it really shows. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel, but comment below and let me know what you think about the Puma.